Hi students, welcome back to our mathematics class. Today we are going to study about cons. Once more, cons. Okay. What do you mean by a con? Yes. We know that cylinders are prism like solids with circular bases. Similarly, we have pyramid like solids with circular bases. They are called a cons. Next, important features of a con. First one, we can make a cylinder by rolling up a rectangle. Likewise, we can make a con by rolling up a sector of a circle. We can make a con by rolling up a sector of a circle. Second one, the radius of the sector becomes the slant height of the cone. Once again, the radius of the sector, capital R, becomes the slant height of the cone. Next, third point, the arc length of the sector becomes the circumference of the base of the cone. The arc length of the sector becomes the circumference of the base of the cone. Okay. Next, fourth point. The height h of a cone is the perpendicular distance from the apex to the base and it is the distance between the apex and the center of the base circle. Okay. Next, fifth point. Radius of the base circle is called a base radius and it is denoted by small letter r. Radius of base circle is called a base radius and it is denoted by small letter r. Next, sixth point. Like the square pyramid, here we can imagine a right triangle with the perpendicular sides as height of the cone and base radius and hypotenuse as the slant height. Okay, here we can imagine a right triangle with the perpendicular sides as the height of the cone and base radius and hypotenuse as the slant height. Then we can make a relation between L, H and R. L square equal to H square plus R square. Therefore, L is equal to root of H square plus R square. Similarly, H square equal to L square minus R square. Therefore, H is equal to root of L square minus R square. Next, seventh point. If R is the base radius of the cone and L as its land height, then central angle of the sector is equal to R by L into 360 degree. Central angle of the sector is equal to R by L into 360 degree. Next, curved surface area of the cone. It is the area of the curved face. Curved surface area CSA equal to pi RL. CSA equal to pi RL. Next, total surface area. Total surface area TSA equal to CSA plus base area. And it is equal to pi RL plus pi R square. Once again, pi RL plus pi R square. Next, oleum of a con. The oleum of a con is equal to a third of the product of the base area and height. V equal to 1 by 3 pi R square H. Once again, V equal to 1 by 3 pi R square H. Next, we are going to do the exercise questions on page number 198. Question number 1. What are the radius of the base and slant height of a cone made by rolling up a sector of central angle 60 degree cut out from a circle of radius 10 cm? Here, given that radius of the circle equal to 10 cm, we know that radius of the circle is equal to slant height of the cone. Therefore, R equal to L. L is equal to 10 cm. Central angle is equal to, we know that central angle is equal to R by L into 360 degree. 
സെൻട്രൽ ആംഗിൾ ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ആ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രി സോ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഈക്വൾ ടു ആർ ബൈ ടെൻ ഇൻറ്റു ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രി ദെൻ സിംപ്ലിഫൈങ് ദിസ് വി ഗെറ്റ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് ആർ ഇസ് ഈക്വൾ ടു സിക്സ്റ്റി ദ ഫോർ ആർ ഈക്വൾ ടു സിക്സ്റ്റി ബൈ തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് ഈക്വൾ ടു ടെൻ ബൈ സിക്സ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് ഈക്വൾ ടു ടെൻ ബൈ സിക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൾ ടു വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് സിക്സ് സെൻറ്റിമീറ്റർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ ത്രീ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ റേഷ്യോ ഓഫ് ദ ബേസ് റേഡിയസ് ആൻഡ് സ്ലാൻ ഹൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ കോൺ മെയ്ഡ് ബൈ റോളിംഗ് അപ്പ് എ സെമി സർക്കിൾ ഹിയർ വി മെയ്ഡ് എ കോൺ ബൈ റോളിംഗ് അപ്പ് എ സെമി സർക്കിൾ ഓക്കെ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് ദ സെക്ടർ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സ്ലാൻ ഹൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി കോൺ റേഡിയസ് ഓഫ് ദ സെക്ടർ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു slant height of the cone therefore we can write r is equal to l similarly arc length of the sector is equal to base circumference of the cone arc length of the sector is equal to base circumference of the cone you have already studied the formula of arc length in your 9th standard okay which is equal to 2 pi r into x by 360 degree 2 pi r into x by 360 degree and base circumference of the cone is equal to 2 pi r the small r represents the base radius and capital r represents the radius of the sector okay we can cancel the similar terms 2 pi and 2 pi 180 and 360 okay we get r by 2 is equal to r small letter r we know that r is equal to l so we can re- replace r by l and we get l by 2 is equal to r we have to find the ratio of r and l so we have to bring this l to the right side and it becomes r by l is equal to 1 by 2 r by l is equal to 1 by 2 therefore r is to l is equal to 1 is to 2 ratio between base radius and slant height which is equal to 1 is to 2 next we are moving to the textual exercise questions on page number 199 Question number 2 What is the surface area of a cone of base radius 30 cm and height 40 cm We have to find the surface area total surface area of the cone with base diameter 30 and height 40 Here base diameter is equal to 30 cm therefore r equal to 15 cm height is equal to 40 cm here we have to find the total surface area total surface area equal to pi r l plus pi r square we need to find l so using r and h first we have to find l l is equal to root of h square plus r square and it is equal to root of 40 square plus 15 square and it is equal to root of 1600 plus 225 adding this we get root of 1825 next we have to find the root of 1825 we have to factorize this number like this now we can write root of 1825 equal to root of 5 into 5 into 73 and it is equal to root of 25 into 73 which is equal to 5 root 73 cm next we have to find the tsa which is equal to pi r l plus pi r square put all the values in the equation we get 
pi into 15 into 15 root 73 plus pi into 15 square it is equal to pi into 75 into root 73 plus 225 pi centimeter square is it clear for you children now here is some activities for you to do read the question well and try to do these questions thank you